Good morning, family, and happy Saturday to you. I was just sitting out here, and I was thinking about, you know, the Lord and how, how awesome he is. You can't help but to think about him when you sit in, in his creation, you know. And so I was thinking about how do I do God, you know. I was thinking about all the way that God does me. He loves me unconditional. If I fall, he picks me up. If I repent, he wipes me clean. If I ask for forgiveness, he forgives. If I believe in my heart that he sent his son to die, I can be saved. Just, I mean, unconditional. You can do the worst thing possible and God be like, I love you. you you're, you're everything to me. And so I was just sitting out here thinking about the goodness of God. And then I started thinking, well, how do I do God? Am I like that to God? Am I available to him? Am I, you know, effective for him? And it's so funny to me because sometimes when things are going well and right, we get comfortable in the spirit. We don't seek the kingdom of God. We don't do the things that God asks us to do. When things are going right, when the bills are paid, when everything is everything, you and your man is good, you and your girl is good, your family is covered, everything is good. We don't really, we kind of get lazy in, this, in our spirit. And I, I tell people all the time, I never want to get comfortable in my spirit where I'm disconnecting from God. And a lot of times we can start getting comfortable in our spirit. And as soon as we get comfortable in our spirit, we stop seeking the kingdom of God. And that is very, we stop putting on our armor. We stop using the tools. And that's very, very, you know, that's just open cracks for the enemy. So no matter what is going on, we all, the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God. And Recently, I've been faced with a situation where I had to make a decision. Well, I didn't know what decision to make. Do I stay? Do I go? You know, and and instead of seeking the kingdom of God, I started to reach out to everybody else. And everybody started giving me their opinion. And it actually made everything worse. So I want to encourage you all today to seek First, the kingdom of God. In all that you do, no matter where you are in, in your life, on your journey, if you're at the highest of the highs, the lowest of the lows, you always have to seek God. First, the kingdom of God. And, you know, when I was faced with the decision and I was getting everybody's opinion, a lot of times people give their opinion and ideas based off of the, the natural. They're not really thinking about the spirit. Well, God will allow you to be in a place where it's difficult. God will allow you to be in a difficult situation. The, the very situations that a lot of times that you want to run from, God allowed you to be there. And he does that because he loves us unconditional. And he's always trying to show us how much we have on the inside of us. And he's always trying to show us the tools that we have. Um, that he's given us and we if everything is going well if everything is going right and good we really can't see what we're made of you know when it gets tough we seek God when it gets tough we pray you know and and if all if all is well a lot of times we put all that to the side I will say that anything we're chosen we're chosen for such a time as now we are going to be great, but it's all through Christ Jesus. And anything that God is asking you to do on behalf of the glory, on behalf of the kingdom, we will never be able to do it without him. So God will give you a task. You seek God first thing in the morning, and he gives you a task and an assignment. That task and assignment will never be able to be fulfilled without the kingdom of God, without God. Anything that God allows you to face, anything that God allows you to go through, anything that God brings to you, will you do this for me? Um, anything God puts on your heart to do, you will not be able to do it without him. 
So with that being said, when things are going well, how come we we put God, you know, to the side? Um, I was thinking about my relationship with God. And at the end of the day, all the things that we're trying to accomplish, all the things that we're trying to, it's good to have goals. It's great to have goals. But all the things that we accomplish and do, what's the motive for it? Why are you doing the, re the things that you're doing? Is it because you want your name to be known? Is it because you want people to see you? Or is your motive selfish? Or are you really trying to do for the glory of the kingdom? If you're trying to do for the glory of the kingdom, your relationship with God is the most important thing. You can never go a day without God. You can't. If you're living for him and you are fulfilling purpose for him, and you are chosen for him and God is pouring things on your heart to do and you're ready to go hard. There's never a time that you can go forward without God. So last week we talked about pushing forward and going hard for the kingdom and just doing for the kingdom. And that's all well and good and, and I'm ready. But I have to take my relationship with God with me. Apart from God, we're nothing. And so the other day, um, my, my little sister, she was getting ready to go somewhere. And it took her hours to get ready. And I was just thinking, like, to get ready to go to, to do something that, you know, she enjoyed to do, which is fine. But I was thinking, how do we do God? How do we do the kingdom? How do we, how much do we give to God? You know, we'll give God our last, our little bit. We'll give him the very last bit of us. The Bible says seek first the kingdom of God. It doesn't say at the end of the day when you're tired and you've been through everything and all your day is over, up, oh, don't forget to pray. It doesn't say that. It says seek first the kingdom of God. The Bible also says the steps of a righteous man is ordered. So if God is ordering your steps, that means he is in constant communication with you. And if God is constantly communicating with you, and you only talk to him at night, you're missing the things that God wants you to do in your today. A lot of times we like to either live in our past or live in our future. And God is calling us to live in our today because the past is over and we don't know what the future holds. Your last day could very well be tomorrow. And God says, seek me first because he has tasks, opportunity and assignments for you to do in this very day as we go hard for things that we want to accomplish 10 years from now we're missing the the today do you give god your best do you give god your uh, excellent job when god puts something on your heart like we shared last week do you give him an attitude or do you do it with good cheer with a good heart do you represent yourself? You know, they, the Bible says we're made in God's image. So how we're acting, how we, how we look, how everything plays a role with how we carry ourselves plays a role with the kingdom of God. How are you talking? How are you walking? Who are you talking to? What are you talking about? Are you giving God your all? We like to give the world our all. You know, back when I was going out all the time, I, look, I give me an outfit the day of, make sure I was together. Make sure the hair was on, everything on point. And sometimes we don't even want to go to church. Sometimes we don't make it to church. If we do, we might throw something on. Yeah, it, it does say come as you are, but you're royalty, you're everything. And you've seen how, you know, a lot of times we've been posting these pictures, I'm feeling myself, and it, you be at your finest. And we'll do that for Facebook, or we'll do that for our friends or the people that we're dating, but what do we give to God our last five minutes of the day when we're tired and we just, 
Oh, I forgot to pray. Let me just pray. How, how, how are you? How is your relationship with God? Have you been connecting with him in the spirit? Are you giving him your best or are you giving him your last? Nothing that we do will stand at the end of the day. The only thing that's going to stand is the word of God. How are you treating God? How are you doing him? And are you seeking the kingdom? So in my, in my situation where I had to make the decision, I wasn't seeking the kingdom of God. I was seeking people to answer my questions. But God says, seek me first. And then trust and believe by faith that I will answer your prayer. I might want you to stay there. People, you know, think in the natural. I want you to, you need to do this. Well, you need to do that. Well, you should just let it go. But God was like, no, I want you to stay there because there's somebody there that I want you to minister to. There's somebody there that I want to them to see me through you. There's somebody there that needs a smile and you're the one that I'm sending to do that. Or, yes, I'm ready for you to leave. I'm ready for you to go forward and do something else. You fulfilled your task and assignment there. But if we're not seeking God, we're not going to ever understand or know his answer. We'll only have the answer and opinions of people. But we can't stand on the words of people. We stand on the word of God. If you're not seeking him or in a communication with him or talking to him, you're not going to be able to stand on anything. Have you been guarding your heart and mind with the word? Have you been doing, using your tools? Um, you know, a lot of times when we start to get weary, that just means that we're not spending any time with God. Because once again, like I said, anything that God allows you to do, it's going to be through him and God's strength is perfect. So if you're doing it through Christ, you'll have the strength. Are you spending time with God? Are you in the walking in the presence of God? Are you being positive? Are you pouring positive things on your mind? In your mind and in your heart? The Bible says think things good and pure. The Bible says guard your heart with the word of God. Well, if you're not in your word and you're being negative all the time, you're disconnected from what God told you to do. Open crack for the enemy to cause chaos in your life. Your armor of God is not on. So I just want you to be encouraged to evaluate. How am I doing for, the, what, what am I giving to the God? To God? Yeah, I got the vision. Yeah, I, I want to go hard. But what am I doing in today for God? Am I listening? Am I seeking him? Am I being slow to speak? If, if we're talking all the time, we can't hear God give us the direction step by step. God is a little meek voice on the inside of our hearts. And if we're always in constant conversation, gossiping, being negative, saying I, I, all week I've been saying I'm so stressed out. And then somebody said, oh, that's normal. You're human. But then I was like, well, yeah, but I do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So something is wrong. I need to go back and spend some more time with God. So be encouraged, family. Um, don't take your relationship with God lightly. Because it's your relationship with God that gets you to the things that you're going toward and forward. It's your relationship with God that's going to get you the vision and the dream. It's your relationship with God that's going to make everything come to pass. It's not everything's going to come to pass, so then I'll do my relationship with God. You have to flip it. That's backwards. Your relationship with God and seeking God first is your first and foremost assignment. If you can't do that, how are you going to be able to do the big things that God is calling you to do? You're not going to be able to do anything without the kingdom of God. I just pray for you all. I pray that you guys are encouraged. I want to just say a quick prayer for you right now. And I pray that you continue forward in the name of Jesus. If God woke you up this morning, you have opportunity to get it together. It's okay. This week was trying for me, 
but I'm still here. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm alive and well. What am I going to do today? Tomorrow's, yesterday was gone. Tomorrow's not here. Today. Father God, I just thank you so much for this time that I'm able to spend with my family. Father, thank you for your loving heart and your loving arms. Lord, thank you for being the God of a second chance. Thank you for forgiving us when we, when we ask you to, God. Thank you for wiping us clean, oh God. Thank you for picking us up when we fall short of the glory, God. Help us to do better. Father, it says they say that if you know better, you do better. So, Father God, thank you for teaching us. Thank you for guiding us. Continue to guide us, oh God. Show us the way, Father God. Help us to be still until you give us the direction to move forward, oh God. Lord, we love and adore you. We just want to do things right, God. So help us to put things back into perspective for your kingdom. Help us to understand that it's not about us, but it's about you, Father God, that you get the glory at the end of the day for all the things that we do for you. Father God, we invite you everywhere we invite you to our homes our jobs our families our marriages we invite you our friendships father god our families god you are invited anywhere that we tread father god you are allowed to come with us lord thank you so much for changing us and molding us thank you for seeing us better than we see ourselves thank you for your grace and your mercy in jesus name amen okay family i love y'all i'm praying for you all go talk to god Go go talk to God before anybody else. Go talk to God about it. Then once you seek the sought out the kingdom, then once you feel good about what you're talking to God about, then you can go forward and what He's asking you to do. He will answer your prayer. Just have faith and keep moving forward in Jesus' name. I love y'all. See you next week.